Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see use envelope encryption with AWS KMS. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and now we'll go to the KMS here. So AWS KMS solution uses envelope encryption strategy with the customer managed keys. These are your CMKs or customer managed keys if you click on it. So we have we created two of them, right? So envelope encryption is the practice of encrypting plain text data with a data key and then encrypting the data key under the another key. Uh, we use customer managed keys to generate, encrypt, and decrypt the data keys that we use outside of the AWS KMS to encrypt the data. CMKs are created in AWS KMS and never leave AWS KMS encrypted or unencrypted. AWS KMS supports three types of CMKs, customer managed keys, AWS managed CMKs, and AWS owned CMKs. For many FSI customers, customer managed CMK will be the preferred option because it allows for control of the permissions to use keys from any of their applications or AWS services. Customer managed CMKs also provide added flexibility for key generation and storage. In addition, every use of a key or modification to its policy is locked to AWS CloudTrail for auditing purposes so what happens is like when you encrypt the data your data is protected but you have to protect your encryption key one strategy is to encrypt it envelope encryption is the practice of encrypting plain text data with a data key we can encrypt the data encrypting encryption key under another encryption key and encrypt that encryption key under another encryption key so there is a master key that encrypts your data key and then that further encrypts your data. So but eventually one key must remain in plain text so that we can decrypt the key and the data. This top level plain text key encryption key is known as the master key. So the master key would remain in the plain text. And this is how we can unencrypt the data. So AWS KMS helps uh, to protect the master keys by storing and managing them securely. So they are managed by AWS. Master keys stored in AWS KMS known as the customer master keys never leave the AWS KMS hardware security module unencrypted. And to use an AWS KMS CMK or customer managed keys, we must call AWS KMS. So encrypt, envelope encryption offers several benefits by protecting uh, the data key. So when you encrypt a data key, you don't have to worry about storing the encrypted data key because the data key is inherently protected by encryption. We can so safely store the encrypted data key alongside the encrypted data. It also helps in encrypting the same data under multiple master keys, uh, by which I mean that encryption operations can be time consuming, particularly when the data being encrypted are large objects. So instead of re-encrypting raw data multiple times with different keys, we can re-encrypt only the data keys that protect the raw data. And it also helps by combining the strengths of multiple algorithms so uh, in general what happens is symmetric key algorithms are faster and produce smaller ciphertext than public key algorithms but public key algorithms provide inherent separation of roles and easier key management envelope encryption lets you combine the strength of each strategy and if you want to read more about it you want to know more about it you can anytime explore the aws documentation and then uh, there is a concept called key policy when you create a cmk like we created here we determine who can use and manage the cmk these permissions are contained in a document called the key policy we can use the key policy to add remove or change permissions at any time for a customer managed cmk but you cannot edit the key policy for an aws managed cmk 
so if you oh, sorry if I go back you would see the key usage is for encrypt and decrypt and if you would click on here key policy so if you click on switch to policy view and here is uh, your key policy effect is allow principal is the root user account with which I am logged in and uh, allow access for key administrators which uh, the two other users because uh, I created these users and gave them the admin access on to the group on which I added these users so the, I created a group I attached the administrator access onto that group and then I added these two users into that group and uh, the actions that these two users have are the KMS create describe enable list put update revoke disable get delete tag the resource untag the resource scheduled key deletion and the cancel key deletions and if you would see the resource they have all the resource uh, and this is the allow function this also has the actions that are described here further so this is the key policy that you can edit as well from here if you want to make any changes you can just copy and paste this JSON content and then edit it as per your wish save it and then you can click on save changes this is how it works I hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any more queries mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day